Bernie Leaving, Congregational Care Pastor here at Palmasio United Methodist. Welcome to this week's prayer cast. In the church's liturgical calendar, the seasons of the church year are based on the life of Jesus. Advent prepares for his birth. Christmas focuses on his birth, presentation in the temple, and Jesus being about his father's business. Lent, of course, prepares our hearts for the inevitability of Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. And Easter is a joyous 50 days of celebrating the resurrection. The season of Pentecost, the longest of the church seasons, celebrates what it means to live life in the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. In the middle of the Pentecost season, many denominations have added the season of creation, although it can be observed at any time of the year. The United Methodist Church has joined Christians of the Orthodox Church, Roman Catholics, Lutherans, Presbyterians, Anglicans, Episcopalians, and some Baptists, and others, I am sure, in designating from September 1st a World Day of Prayer for Creation through October the 4th, the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi as this year's season of creation. It is clearly an ecumenical movement to call attention to and place emphasis upon individual Christians and the church's responsibility to do as Pope Francis said at this time last year, to reaffirm our personal vocation to be stewards of creation, to thank God for the wonderful handiwork which he has entrusted to our care, and to implore his help for the protection of creation, as well as his pardon for the sins committed against the world in which we live. Our scriptures make it clear that God is creator, and the Psalms, especially 8, 29, 104, 147, and 148, make it clear that we are part of the creation. From the beginning, God has made humankind responsible to be good stewards of the creation. This new church season can return us to our biblical roots and help us see and understand we are part of the earth and that often our lifestyles are damaging and in many cases, destroying God's creation. While our worship experience here at Palmasia during these days is not focused on the season of creation, it is clear that we as individuals can do much to observe this season. We can study and learn, study and learn all the truth we possibly can about the environment and the dangers to everything from our forests and farmlands to the oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes, and to the air. We can pray, first celebrating God as creator and then confessing our hand in enjoying lifestyles that are damaging to creation and asking God's wisdom for the living of our lives. We can act by changing our lifestyles to be simpler, by recycling everything we possibly can, like carrying bags to the grocery store instead of getting those plastic bags every time we shop. We can use less energy and water by turning up the thermostat in the summer and down in the winter and taking shorter showers. We could use our cars less and walk or bike more often. We can advocate for more sustainable, environmental friendly, governmental decisions by making our voices heard as we volunteer with environmental groups, as we write letters or email our governmental officials, and writing letters to the newspaper editorial staff based on what we have come to know as truth. We are part of God's creation. We have responsibility not only to care for humankind, God has called us to be good stewards of all creation, and we need to get busy. Celebrate this season of creation by making a difference in at least some small way. For our prayer together, I have adapted a prayer of confession that was prepared by our United Methodist Discipleship Ministries. Let us pray. Father of love, Jesus weeping and loving us, spirit groaning in us, bearing witness that we are yours, though gone astray. Have mercy on us. We are corrupt. Cleanse us. We are careless with your earth, 
Correct us. We have failed to be good stewards. Forgive us. Strengthen within us the desire to reclaim our rightful place as stewards of the earth. Amen. God bless the rest of your week. See you in church on Sunday.